Here is a McGowan 35 watt PA amplifier. Model M355. Well, here's the deal. I saw it on Craigslist. They wanted $40 for it. They said it worked. I called them up, offered them $35, and they said okay. Went down and picked it up. Uh, well, before I took it, I asked them if I could plug it in and you know, just see it turn on and the tube slide up. So I uh, took it in, plugged it in. Pilot light came on and uh, I didn't see the tube lights up and in about 15 seconds a uh, puff of smoke came out. Good reason to use a dim bulb tester but the lady said it worked and they tried it yesterday. But uh, I don't know, maybe it was about ready to go anyway. But anyway, um, well, Puff of Smoke said, well, it's not in any good shape. It needs work. So I ended up getting it for 15 bucks. And I'm not sure what I blew up yet because I haven't opened it or anything. Nice and clean from the front. Really, really nice. Top has some marks, some rust in the back. And in the back here, we have the uh, tubes and transformers. And I'll have to pop the cover and get into it, see what popped on it. By the odor, I don't think it was a transformer. Might have been a capacitor or, uh, or something else, I'm not sure. But, um, we'll open it up and see what's going on inside. Well, I opened the cover on this thing and uh, poked around and I found that this resistor is burnt. I'm not too sure of the colors. It looks like green, blue, and maybe brown. It's hard to tell when it's toasted, so... I'll have to uh, check into that, maybe do a little bit of math, and uh, determine the proper resistance. But the uh, wire comes off the rectifier bridge. There is no uh, rectifier tube in this amp. It comes over here, pretty much right off the power supply. So that tells me well, you see, this comes off into the filter capacitor, and this big resistor goes to another leg on the filter capacitor, so that tells me uh, it could be the filter capacitor is just old and shorted, or we have a problem with our um, output stage. Seems The other wire seems to run over to the output tubes. I'll have to trace it a little better and see what the problem is. Uh, there's a few electrolytics that need to be replaced. I haven't actually tested them to make sure they're good or not, but you know, there's a few of them around here that probably should be replaced. A lot of these style of capacitors probably just fine but here's the main problem well when I open this thing um, I noticed the gutter was clear on uh, one of these tubes and it was cracked on the bottom so you know, it just broke off uh, it looks like a 7868 tube well, that sucks because it's an output tube and those are usually expensive. And there's the guts. I'm not sure. It might be a pentode. I'll have to look the data sheet up on this thing. I'm not familiar with that number at all, so it might be... 
Could be a part that's hard to find, I don't know. Well, there's three tubes. And there's probably six EU seven. What are these? They're all six EU sevens. But heck if you didn't want to use a stage, I could probably swap tubes around with a bad one. What's this? Chime tone generator input. And our output. Luckily the fuse did blow. But the resistor got cooked, which means its value is probably changed and it's no good anymore. So I'll put a meter on that and check. You got uh, four mic inputs, a phono level, bass and treble controls. Nice big output transformer. And this is the power supply transformer. If it's not worth fixing, then uh, at least I got some good parts. Let me check and see what this thing uh, or the uh, tubes will cost. Well, actually, these here. <laughs> 